I've got this one, I've got the built shorts, I've got the built tights, but they're more like supposed to be joggers, more shirts, and then look at this. Those are all of my old built shirts when I used to wear medium. Let me clean this back up, you're making a mess, bro. If you're new here, please subscribe. I have a whole bunch of things coming out all across the board from massage chairs to inversion tables because of my back. But you came here to see what the Built brand is all about and how it compares to shirts like Lululemon. I first started by trying out Lululemon because Lululemon is kind of king in the comfortable world. And I have Lululemon shorts and pants that I always wear, but wanted to get some nice shirts. So I went out and bought their basic five year tee, they say, they say. I will show you with and without an undershirt. I usually wear an undershirt. I wanna show you if these shirts are see-through or whatnot, but uh, yeah, here we go. I'm 6'1", right now I'm 185, which is a bummer. It used to be 195, but anyway, this is just to show you the general build and how these shirts will fill that. This right here is the Lululemon basic five year tee, they call it. And uh, it's like $55. This thing is very thin, which is kind of nice because it's really breathable and comfortable. It it just doesn't feel like it fits that great. It's a little see-through. As you can see, it got black shorts and just a white undershirt. So this is the Lululemon without any undershirt on. It's comfortable, but there's maybe two to three main drawbacks to the shirt, which is why I kept looking. One, you get a gnarly bacon neck. Let me see if I can show you. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have to punch in because we're gonna lose the light. This right here, I haven't really worn the shirt a whole bunch because it started to just look old pretty soon. Easy to stain. I just feel like it doesn't fit very well. The sleeves are a little long. I don't love it. Right out of the gates, Lululemon for their shirts, I don't like them. But for their pants, they're amazing. I actually think they could do better on the shorts, but I love their like pants pants. But now let's show you a direct comparison to a built shirt. Both of them are size large. I have an undershirt under this right now. As you can tell, it's a lot thicker. You can still kind of see it. I think you're gonna always have that on any white shirt that you're wearing, but this is the best one that I found that doesn't show through things. The sleeves are a lot shorter. It just fits around the chest a lot better. Overall, I just love the fit of these built shirts. This is without an undershirt, super breathable, it's awesome. This is the Lux Blend. The Lux Blend is like, in my opinion, way better. I know I have a friend or two that prefer the, the normal cotton ones, but I kind of like the feel of these. They don't wrinkle very easily. It just looks a little more athletic. This is large. I'll show you what a medium looks like on me. This is the medium. So I think the medium actually looks really good. The reason why I went for the large ultimately is because it gets a little tight under the armpits. And so throughout the day, I find myself kind of just pulling it and just getting a little more room. Ultimately, I think the large feels a lot more comfortable. The medium looks a lot more fitted, but obviously it just depends on your body type. This is kind of a good test to see how well it doesn't wrinkle. This has been wadded up in a bag for months on end. And obviously there's like some wrinkles on it, but overall, if it was like a cotton shirt, this is the Lux Blend again, it'd be a lot more wrinkly. The long sleeves, I'll still stick with getting a medium for whatever reason. It just feels like it fits me a lot better. And I'll show you what a medium looks like. This is the medium long sleeve. I will be wearing a lot of the Lux ones in this, but I do have a few of the cotton ones to show you that. Overall, very comfortable, and I think it's fitted really well. So this is a Lululemon long sleeve shirt. Again, it's a large, a lot thinner, which has its pros because it is kind of softer and lighter and whatever. But again, it just kind of looks a little baggy. And now here's the built shirt. So again, same color, same size. I just feel like it fits a lot more snug which is good and it's still really comfortable and breathable i have a built hoodie here i honestly was on the fence with it for a while because i don't know if i love the high neck it gets a little bit annoying but i think the style is kind of cool again it's got great stretch and comfortability with it i think the hoodies are pretty sweet so this is their workout tank top or i guess swimming tank top this is a medium I really like it. Again, I don't have a great build overall, but I think it looks pretty good. So I've noticed the cotton blends have a different fit from the Lux. It just is a bit looser, it has the cotton material, so it looks different. And obviously this is the tie-dye one. I still really like it. I think it's kind of a fun, different type of shirt, you know, cause I have lots of solid colors. So it's kind of fun to mix it up every once in a while. I have so many shirts here. I'm trying to figure out which one. Oh, this one you're gonna love. Let me show you this one. Chicks just love this shirt. It's actually not built brand, but take a look. Okay, I just saw it and I, I like this shirt. I like puns, so we'll move on. Here's another like tie-dye one. This is a cotton blend. Again, I love it. I think it's just kind of cool and unique. I have a different color of this, surprise. And this one 
people are always asking, oh, did you uh, get dunked in water or whatever? But obviously that's not true. Overall, I haven't found that these stain very easily. And if they ever do get stained, you can just put stain remover on them and it comes out really nicely. Okay, so this is just a different style that Bill offers. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. But now I wanna show you their athletic shirts compared to the lemon athletic shirts. Let's do that. Okay, so this is the built shirt, the athletic blend. I love it. I have a black one of these. It's in the wash. I have a couple other of these in the wash that I couldn't bring. Surprise, surprise. Real quick, one of the biggest questions anyone ever has with getting a shirt, does it shrink? I say they barely, barely shrink. So if you're on the edge of a medium, but you could wear a large, I would honestly probably get the large and then let it shrink a little bit. Overall, they hardly shrink. So if you're like, I feel great in medium, get the medium and you'll be just fine. This is the athletic shirt. It's got an awesome thin thin material and it's really breathable and again it has that same built fit which i really like okay now here is the lululemon again it's just a little bit of a different fit overall i still like it though i'll wear these ones no problem if i have my choice which i do i always go for my built shirts if they are clean but then i'll go to lululemon if they're not now let's talk about lululemon athletic shorts versus built athletic shorts all right so these are the lululemon athletic shorts these have the built-in underwear, so do the built ones. I love getting the built-in underwear. I know everyone's different on that, but it's just one less step to get into the gym. I know, it's complicated to put on your underwear. I love these shorts. I haven't had any issues with them. They're super comfortable, very stretchy. But now, I'll show you what the built ones look like with the built shirt. I'll tell you what, changing with a herniated disc does not feel good. Here are the built shorts. I personally really dig the style of the built shorts. It's got the built-in underwear again. Pockets are nice. If I, again, have my choice, I'll wear these. If they're dirty, then I'll obviously throw them the lemon ones. But with this, there's only one thing I would say that I don't love. And right here, the material that goes around your waist is just a little bit rough. The Lululemon ones, the soft fabric comes over it. This just is stretchy band right on your waist. Again, it's not really an issue, but if I had to pick between the two, I'd say the Lululemon ones are a little more comfortable around the waist. I like how these look, and overall, I think they fit really great, so I will pick these to wear. All right, so to wrap things up, I think it's pretty obvious I love built shirts. The quality is amazing. They don't really shrink. They don't really stain. Obviously, these are clothes, like anything can happen, but the fit is awesome, and the price is actually pretty reasonable. There's a lot of times they're on sale, so you can go on and just sign up with their email or wait till typical sales come and you'll usually be able to get these on sale which is kind of why i have a ton because i'll just buy it in bulk when they're on sale between lululemon and built built for sure blows lululemon out of the water it actually feels like they measured someone for it and when it comes to the pants we can do a review on this later but i have noticed that the built ones outside of the athletic ones are a little bit too tight i don't even have that big of legs by any means but i feel like they're just really tight and lululemon feels like those have a good fit but they're not like super tight so i'd still pick lululemon pants and then built shirts all right guys hopefully you found this helpful i'll definitely do more reviews on these down the line if you're interested in that my next video is going to be about another brand i love kizix and it's because they're super easy to get it in and out especially with my herniated disc so please subscribe if you want to see that video and many more to come i'm going to be releasing videos every single week on all sorts of different topics so thank you guys please like this video if you found it helpful and we'll see you in the next one